Saruto, our new in the van. At the Funduk is unpevino Ziva. This is thank you very much. We have a mighty in solidarity. It's a Miss Awaya. I tabasa organize a basha to get a hip of basha. You know, Mira Pameche, the name of citizens, Edward Asunga. Basha, Zanupeva, Basha, 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 Nanga, Basha. This is our strap. We know oil and any solidarity. The Wuti Canada so decided to invoke Section 59. Musa provoke one. To shanisa this trees as a point of entry to the of the Zimbabwean Constitution and our display. Hello everyone. Welcome to Zimwatch TV, your trusted source for political news and stories from around the world. So, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Join us for political analysis, commentary, and in-depth coverage of the latest developments in politics and beyond. Ostello's warns Zanu PF, stop abusing judiciary or face mass protests. Harare, Zimbabwe in a bold and impassioned speech, opposition activist Gift Ostello's warns Zanu PF members to cease their abuse of the judiciary or face mass protests and demonstrations. Ostello's was speaking outside the magistrate court today, where he was showing solidarity with the 78 arrested CCC activists. Ostello's warning came as tensions between the ruling party and opposition groups continue to escalate. The activist leader emphasized that citizens have a constitutional right to demonstrate under Section 59 of the Constitution and will not hesitate to exercise this right if ZANU-PF continues to abuse human rights. The people of Zimbabwe will not stand idly by while their rights are being trampled upon, Ostello has declared. ZANU PF must stop using the judiciary to silence citizens. We will not be intimidated. We will not be silenced. Ostello's remarks were met with cheers and applause from the crowd gathered outside the court. The activist leader's warning has left ZANU PF members in a state of panic as they realize the growing discontent among citizens. The 78 CCC activists were arrested last week. The arrests have sparked widespread outrage, with many calling for their immediate release. Ostello's speech highlighted the growing frustration among citizens, who feel that ZANU-PF has stolen the 2023 elections and is now using the judiciary to maintain their grip on power. Zanu PF did not win the 2023 elections, Ostello's asserted. They stole the elections, and now they are using the judiciary to silence citizens. But we will not be silenced. We will continue to demand justice and freedom. As of press time, Zanu PF had not yet responded to Ostello's warning. However, sources within the party indicate that they are indeed concerned about the growing discontent among citizens and are scrambling to find ways to contain the situation. The event has sparked fears of widespread protests and demonstrations, as citizens become increasingly frustrated with the government's handling of the economy and human rights abuses. In a statement, CCC spokesperson, Mr. Chibaya, praised Ostello's courage and commitment to justice. We stand in solidarity with Gift Ostello's and all citizens who are demanding justice and freedom. We will not be silenced. We will not be intimidated. As the political landscape in Zimbabwe continues to simmer, one thing is clear citizens will no longer be silenced and will continue to demand justice and freedom. The question on everyone's mind is, will ZANU-PF heed Ostello's warning, or will they continue to abuse the judiciary and provoke citizens? Only time will tell. <laughs>